the morning of my very last first day of classes because I graduate in May and I thought I would commemorate by doing a get ready with me for my last first day of school. I actually don't have class until way later today, but I thought I would still wake up at a decent hour. It's like nine, I think. Um, I'm gonna go make coffee now. <laughs> So I can't decide if I think we should do a little get ready with me chatty vibe or should I do it like how I used to in high school where I just like sped up this makeup. But yeah, I already prepped my skin with some products. But we're gonna roll this on as well because I like a good tacky base for all of my skin makeup even though I don't really wear foundation on a daily basis. This just helps with powder, you know, bronzer and everything too. So. Okay, skin is prepped and primed, and then now I'm gonna do a brightening concealer first, and I love this one from Fenty Beauty. This is their Bright Fix Eye Brightener in Butter, and it's like a little yellow toned, so it's brightening for my under eyes, although my under eyes are not too, too dark. It's just to help it look brighter later. And, I, and then I just like to use a damp sponge, and this is my favorite from Sephora Collection. I'm using natural lighting, so if it goes in and out, I feel like I look blue now, but I like to use other concealer on top because that's not super high coverage. I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Kind of just all the brightening spots right there. I like to use the Glossy Stretch Concealer. This one's a little bit more dark around my nose, mainly because it's a little red. That's the difference between my eyes with the concealer on top of the brightener. I've been filming first day get ready with me's since middle school. Like I feel like middle school, maybe high school. So now I'm just probably gonna just brush my teeth and head out the door for the first day. I just want to make it known that that video is still public and available to watch. So you can. You can watch that video. And I just cannot believe I'm now finishing college, um, which is insane. And you guys have been watching me for a long time. I think that's why I kind of really like the community we have here because you guys have been alongside me for all of my phases of life. And this one's like the biggest one yet that I didn't share too much of, but it's my goal this year and this semester to really document a lot of it. But uh, I'm just reminiscing on like my first day of college too. And like that was a video I posted. If I can find a clip, I'll insert it, but like, I'm just getting ready for my first day of college now. So. That was so long ago as well. And I just cannot believe that I've already come to my last semester here at Northeastern. And my last semester of classes is actually not too bad. It's like kind of half business, half elective, but I really just, I can't believe. I can't freaking believe it. And I'm using setting powder now, just a little bit. Um, I like to do setting powder and then, or like a powder foundation and then like a loose powder on top to really lock everything in. And like literally nobody else in my life really cares this much about what's going on right now in my mind. But for me, it's just crazy that I've um, stuck with this one thing for so long, even though I did take a pretty long break last year. I was just not in the mind space to make videos because when I went to go edit my own videos, I just felt really like inauthentic and uninspired inspired by the type of content I was creating. So instead of just putting out stupid videos every four months again, I decided to just take a full on break, which I think was really healthy for me because I got to readjust to what I wanted to do on here um, as I graduate college. I just thought I'd go back to my roots for my one of my first videos back. Also now I'm warming up my face um, with this Gucci bronzer I bought on a whim. I literally bought this because the packaging is really pretty, but it's a good color for my skin tone. And I use it with this Refi Beauty brush. This side is for contour. Contouring. It's like a light stippling kind of brush and I use this kind of just to warm up the perimeter of my face And I think it works really well. I don't love a harsh contour. So I do that first and then I have been Using this old palette that I have. This is the Filmstar bronze and glow palette from Charlotte Tilbury And I use the sculpt color for some contouring. I do very very light again It's just to 
add dimension to whatever I've already done with the bronzer. So I use this sculpt shade onto this like more higher point of my cheek, like kind of where blush is usually at. I put the sculpting contour there. Anyway, I was just thinking about last night. I literally couldn't sleep because I was thinking about how much schooling I've gone through. And like, not that college was like necessarily something I, like it wasn't like the most like academic driven part of my life ever. Like I think I was more academically driven when I was younger, like in middle school and in high school, I was really all about the good grades. And like you guys, plenty of you guys probably found my videos in high school about getting straight A's and like studying tips. And that was so me back then. Um, but I think what college gave me was more so the experience. So kind of a networking opportunity. That's how I kind of took college. Let me. And so I think that's what I like most appreciate about college and what I've been doing for the past few years and kind of off camera is all of that. And I think I'm um, able to share a smidge of that now this semester before I leave since I'm still involved in clubs. And I really appreciate doing this whole four year college thing because my parents never got to experience it. And I'm a first gen in college. So um, I think learning a lot right now is good for future generations in my family and to help my younger sister to navigate college um, was a big thing. So I'm really happy with the decision to come to Northeastern and also experience college in Boston, one of the most iconic um, college cities in America. There's so many schools here that I just really enjoyed just having this network of people here, even though I didn't really like do the party scene. It's totally fine. That's not quite me, but I loved making friends and kind of having nights in here. Cause you're never gonna be just a stupid college student again. And like this kind of helped me enjoy my youth a little bit more, I think. Cause once you throw yourself into a career like influencing full-time or content creation, it's still kind of adulting cause you're not doing the school anymore. You have to do all the adulting bills and taxes. And that is like the unfun stuff people never show. So then you have to launch yourself into that right away. I mean, I still do it right now. I do all those things, but I also get to experience my youth while being in school and making friends who are the same age as me. That's where I've been, what I've been doing. And in the last year, just a lot of growth has been happening in my life. I filmed an update video quite a couple times and I told you guys I would post it on my Instagram, but when I went to go edit it, it wasn't quite how I wanted to translate my feelings. So I think just going into the new year with a OG video is more my style. So also I don't think I can drop my eyebrows talking. So we're just gonna stop. I can't. So I did my eyebrows and I think we're gonna do a little bit of powder now. I like to use this new Say Beauty translucent powder I got. Um, I also love the Laura Mercier one, but we're just gonna tap this one on really quick. I have this little cute Hello Kitty powder puff. My under eyes crease the most because they're like the little eye bag hold, like the little mini ones. So and then we're also gonna do right here too. Now we're gonna highlight a little bit and I love this cookie highlighter from Benefits. It's like the perfect sheen pinky undertone. So it like works well with the blush. So I put it right there, right on top. And then we're also gonna put it on the nose bridge. Little dot. I need to do eyeliner. I usually do that right after mascara. I've been loving this color from Glossier. It's the Generation G lip, I don't know, but it's like their white. Um, lipstick packaging and this is the shade fuzz and these are like super sheer so it just tints my lips with like a rosy color like a dusty rose looks super pretty and then on top of this i think i'm gonna do um this maybelline gloss in amber i love this gloss it, like makes my lips look really smooth i do a little cleanup under the eyes and i sweep it under the eyeliner i like to set my entire face with the air flawless finish or airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like, it locks it in. So this is the last spray I do. Between makeup, I like to use the Rare Beauty one because it's a little bit more hydrating. It like kind of revives your makeup. And we're done. That is the makeup. I don't really know if I need to do my hair. I feel like it needs to be maybe flat iron, but I washed it last night and blue dry it a little bit. I think my hair just needs to be a little brushed. And we're ready for our first day of classes. This is so reminiscent of my high school get ready with me. All right. Thank you. 
so busy cleaning up that I forgot I didn't eat anything and I have things to be at. So I need to eat now. So I made a little egg on some rice paper and then I throw in some salt, pepper, soy sauce. I cook it on some sesame oil and then green onions and QP and sriracha. Hmm, pretty good. Cheers. I just spent hours at Tate and now I'm going to my first and only class today, which is very much later in the day. So that's where we're headed. Okay, so I actually finished my class like two hours early. Um, so I'm done for the day and I don't know where else to go. But that was my, I guess, first day of class. Yeah. shower and sleep early because there's absolutely nothing I want to do. So that is all.